been nearly three weeks since hundreds of people were forced from their homes after an explosion at an Aurora apartment building with no word on when that building will reopen. Since the explosion, nearby businesses say they are struggling. I spoke with two businesses who say they hope things turn around soon. Now that it's fall, are starting to do apple spice cakes. It's been just over a month since Gina DiTulio opened up her bakery and bistro, Gina's Kitchen, which is part of Parkside Eatery, a mini food hall with other restaurants and a bar. She says it's been a month filled with ups and downs following the explosion at Aurora's Parkside Collective Apartments. Oh, I thought that was Nancy. An explosion that injured three people and displaced more than 300 residents. Since then, we've been very, very slow. And it's been, again, sad and hard that the customers that we've had and got to know are no longer with us. Which in turn is making it more difficult to buy the products they need with the lack of money coming in on top of inflation. The city of Aurora said the idea behind the Parkside Eatery project was all part of one big plan, a plan which included these apartments with the idea of enticing residents by having restaurants just a few feet away. A few doors down, the Halal Guys general manager Jesus Aguirre says things have been quieter since everyone moved out of the apartments nearby. These guys were, were our local customers. You know, I mean, they were here for dinner. They were here early. We got to know them, you know, first name basis and stuff. He says the drop in business has also put a little bit of a strain on the wallet. Meanwhile, the owner of Halal and the bar inside Parkside Eatery told Denver 7 the apartment building was a huge draw to bring business here. But now the building management says it could take months before anyone can move back in. But Gina DiTulio is staying positive. I am an optimist, so I know it's going to turn around eventually, but it just wasn't, it wasn't how we planned to do things. Now, Parkside Collective told Denver 7 nearly everyone has moved out of the building and regained possession of their belongings. They've also been released from rental payment obligations. Management says it's still unclear when the building will reopen. They stress they are working with local officials to determine what caused the explosion. The city of Aurora also has yet to release a cause.